Yeah. Now, Net One UEPS Technologies provides payment solutions and transaction processing services. If you don't know who this company is, you obviously haven't been watching the news recently. <laughs> and it's also listed on the NASDAQ. Right. The company has a market cap of 8.9 billion rand, a PE ratio of 6.6. Uh, percent and it does not pay dividends. Look, in the slender chance that there's someone who doesn't know what it is, this is the business that has the CEO Serge Bellamont. One of their key operating subsidiaries is Cash Paymaster Solutions, the company that is in uh, a kind of a locked death dance with the Social Securities Agency over the payment of the social <laughs> grants in this country where they got a one-year renewal after a very embarrassing dressing down by the Supreme, not the Constitutional Court. So you couldn't have missed this one. Let's have a look at what the news flow has done to the share price. Nothing. Yeah, not recently. Um, the wobbles earlier were perhaps related to the fact that it was then perceived that that contract wouldn't be renewed indefinitely. But Nesson, what do you say? I think, you know, uh, if, if you look at the business itself, they do easy pay, for example. You know, I'm sure we've all used that where you go and pay your uh, municipal account at, the, at, at a pick and pay. You can even do exactly. it online now. So it's a, it's a payments uh, business, a business that does, you know, secure online or, 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 or card payments. From a business model perspective, it's very robust, I think. And, uh, at a strong moat around str this operation. Strong moat. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it's, it's obviously going to have the, the growth as we move to more and more cashless society. But I think you, you, you said it, Paul, it's just got this overhang of this whole Sasa contract over them. And I think the, the bulk of their, they, they may not admit it, but the bulk of their revenue, even from financial services, come from, you know, access to that contract. And with that question mark, very big question mark over that contract, um, it's, 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 it's not worth the risk. Why no. hasn't that question mark over the contract translated into more downside on the share price? Well, I guess if we go back a few years, that slide does represent uh, So the you mean the bad news is already in there? From 2015, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, from it's the got peak tremendous, of so. tremendous uh, intellectual property. The fact that they can deliver all of those cards with prepaid value locked on them, which then operate in an offline environment. You don't have to be connected to the internet. You can basically use those cards on the chip in the card is the grant that the person has received, which they can use at the stores. And I mean, it's, it's a perfect astonishing. solution for Africa. Where There's no way that anyone can compete with that. But now we have the problem that they were accused of having used the database of social grant recipients to stand in the lines and offer loans, which has now raised issues because, of course, there's concern that if people take too many loans, they just basically don't have any money left once they've got the grant. And they were accused of being party to that. Uh, globally, there are other applications. They've got a nice business in South Korea. They've got a business called Zazu in the UK. So I think they're going to continue to do well. But I'm going on a bit. Yes, you are. I was just wondering whether to interject or not. Mm -hmm. Alan Gray says they want to get out. Why? Because of the overhang, because exactly. of the fury. And Magda Wierzycka is giving them a hard time in the media and everybody's getting anti them. Now Alan Gray wants to withdraw, but they've got like a 13% stake and who's going to buy it? So it's a bit of a worry. Yeah, I think also the IFC have a big stake in there as well with a put option in the event that there's some corruption. That's the International in Financial, Financial Corporation, Corporation. Part of the World Bank Group. So that's another concern for that. Hot not, not, it not sounds as though we're going not. Yeah. You're going to be brave if you go yeah, hot on I this one. I think you have to be not hot on this one because there is potential for fallout, even though now they have the contract to extend. The contract terms were a bit fuzzy it's and so there might murky. be some pushback. The whole situation is murky, mm, not hot.